King of Sujuk! King of Sujuk! <laughs> Buongiorno guys, I'm Max Sinestra, I'm in Gazi Osman Pasha, a very local neighborhood of Istanbul and I'm super excited because today I'm going to try some delicious food in the area and witness the entire preparation of Sujuk. I'm getting hungry, andiamo! So guys, for breakfast, since it's a bit chilly, we came to a very local shop to have Chorba Merjimek, which is uh, lentils. Oh, look. Let's squeeze a bit of lemon on it. And buon appetito. Oh. Mm. It's warming me up. It's very good because it's thick. It's not watery. Sometimes you have uh, soups that are too watery and you can really taste the flavor of it. Here you can really taste the spices, lentils, amazing. And what I see from locals, they just dip a bit of bread. Uh, oh. mm. What else do you want? You know, it's getting chilly. You get an amazing chorba at the local shop. Perfect. They serve normally uh, every day a different dish. So always the Merjimex Chorba. Today is Tavuk chicken. Let's give it a try. Let's put some on my pilaf. Uh, I love potatoes, mixed veggies. Oh. Mm. Pretty simple. And that's what I love. Simple cuisine, simple ingredients. Love it. The chicken is a bit crispy. I love the potatoes, baked potatoes oh. with a bit of chili and other spices. Mm. And spicy biber. Oh! It's not too spicy, but nice. Oh, guys, let's keep exploring. Look at this shop, they're making yufka. Meraba, meraba. Oh, look at the gentleman. Oh, he's making the thin layer. Oh, <laughs> so many. Look at the mountain of flour there. From the flour, then they stretch the dough, the pureria. Oh, so fascinating. I saw the shop outside and I really wanted to witness the preparation. Oh, so thin. Oh, they turn on the gas. Wow. Oh, so that's how they go crispy. Oh, beautiful. So here where they rest to make them dry a bit. Oh, <laughs> Look at the mante they make. How beautiful, all the different shapes. Wow, from small to half moon shape. Oh, they look so beautiful. Very similar to the Italian ones. The triangular shape and a little bit bigger. Wow, fantastic. Wow, they show us inside. Such a wonderful experience. Go like, Gilson. Gula gula. We buy some mante. Oh, the half moon shape one. With meat. This is the shop, guys. Just come and support the locals. Guys, we are at the shop to try for the very first time a Thai donor. Look, it's all about the sauce, tomato sauce, full of spices. Oh, 
shit. Oh shit, yeah. Wow. Yes. Thank you very welcome. much. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so oh, it's good. It's all about the sauce. I love the seasoning, how the chicken is being marinated. Mm. Oh. And by right after bite, you get to even better. My first time try a side owner and it's all about the sauce. Ah, oh, mamma mia. Perfect match. Buonissimo. Thank you very much. Yeah, On my way back home, I came across this interesting boutique around the corner and I decided to check it out. This is where it all started and I'm so glad to share this experience with you. It's the master of Suju. <laughs> Usta! Usta! Oh, from, Here. from fo 41 years ago. Here. So it's a very old shop. It's a must. Erste uh, document. Oh, 79, ben düz 80 yazdım. Okay. Uh, küçük hayvan yok. Kuzu yok. Uh, chicken yok. Buyurun buyurun. Afiyet olsun. Afiyet olsun. Ye ye. Bak. Bir de kuru et. Size bir de... Oh. Çok lezzet. Oh, çok güzel. Oh, it's full of spices. It's like I don't know what's going on in my mouth. Evet. Uh, çok güzel. E, bu mide için perfect. Balkan işe e, flash. Oh, oh. Balkan işe. <gasps> oh, smoky. Oh. Look at the color. You see the color? Wow. Oh, teşekkürle. Yo, yo, yo. Look how beautiful. Oh, look at the color. It's smoky. Fiatos. Oh. Çok güzel. Çok, çok güzel. Amazing. So smoky. Yeah. A bit dry because of that. It just melts after that. Amazing. Çok güzel. Böyle. Yes. Görüyorsun? The king of sujuk. King of sujuk. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pure dana, pure beef, 100%. What they work with is only beef. That's the only type of meat they work with. The famous sujuk, Meshur sujuk. Meshur Akman, Akman, Akman. Oh, Ak Akman. The owner was very hospitable and it was so lovely to chat with him. He was that generous that he gave us an entire sujuk and let us film the whole preparation the day after with his son. Absolutely once in a lifetime experience. Now we get into the shop, guys. Good night, Dean. Ismail, I am Fatih. Nice to meet you. Guys, they invited us into the lab. They're gonna show us the preparation of the sujuk. Couple of parts of it. Andiamo. Please. Merhaba. Merhaba. Ben geçiyorum. <laughs> Devam. Devam ki. Okay. It's on a key. That's the temperature. 15 degrees inside the room. Look guys, the kima. The ground meat is put in the salt inside. Wow. This is Pure beef, 100%. Saudana. This mix of barat spices with the cumin, garlic, and pepper. It's a secret recipe. And then? Chili. Oh, oh, it smells so good. Wow. It smells, well, it smells great. He measured precisely everything before putting all the spices inside, so every sujuk tastes exactly the same. For five minutes it will mix it, then we go into the next step. Here's where they grind it, getting all the beef.
as the gentleman told me, just so you know, he's the owner, he's the son of Naji, the owner that we met yesterday and invited us to witness the preparation. First step is they receive the meat, they clean it and they put it in the cool room. Then they grind it twice. They prepare and they scale all the spices and then they put them all, they mix everything for five slash 10 minutes. They put it here, they will show us the process. They will land them here for, uh, to rest for five, 10 minutes. And then they put it in a fermentation room at 25 degrees Celsius and 55% of humidity and leave it there for 10 days. And they're ready to be sold. That's where magic happens. That's where they hang them to rest for a bit. And that's the fermentation room. They make 100 sujuki in one day. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing us the preparation. It's a <laughs> pleasure for us. Myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, hold on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the hospitality of Turkish people, they gave us sujuk, meat, Turkish delights. <laughs> Collegials. <laughs> Thank you. The best experience, the best out of all. For the next destination, guys, we are going to try uh, cockroach. I love cockroach. Organs, sheep intestine, stuffed with fat, lots of spices, wrapped up and cooked over the charcoal. Let's take a look. Maraba. Oh, look at the cockroach put over the charcoal. It will get cooked in uh, approximately one and a half hour. Look at the juice. Oh, agile, yeah. Oh, yes, fresh bread. Oh, it looks so good. Oh. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh. Mamma mia. No odor at all. A bit smoky because of the charcoal. And I love the bread, it's so crispy. They receive fresh media dolma. Oh, stuffed muscle. Wow, look at here. Limon. Mmm. Oh. Chocolate. Guise. Oh. Oh, the flavor, man. <laughs> Lots of spices. And you can really taste the flavor of the mussel. They also serve uh, sausage. Oh, in a tomato sauce. Oh. It's steamy hot. Just Grill the bread with some pickles. Bit of mayo, ketchup, and voila. I haven't had something like that 
in a very long time. Buon appetito! Mm. This is pure comfort food. It's so light. I can have three, four of this. Mm. I love the pickles inside and it's soaked in a tomato base. Look, the bread soaked up all the sauce. While we were in for the rest of the cockroach to be cooked, the gentleman just told us the story about the shop. They've been running the business for 21 years. They actually were born and raised in this uh, neighborhood. They started with a small cart exactly on the street and not long ago they opened the shop with this cousin. Unbelievable story, exactly 21 years ago. And it started when he was 13 years old, so very young. Wow! Oh! <laughs> oh yes! Oh, look at the fat! Oh, look at the fat coming out. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh, so hot. <laughs> After the toast. <laughs> Very good, very delicious. Can tell it's made right now. Yes, the secure. Let's try. Give it another try with all the spices. Oh, this big bite. Buon appetito. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh, this is the, the best. Doesn't get any fresher than that. Full of spices. They just made. We waited for three hours. Ah, amazing. Buonissimo. Ah, such an incredible experience once again. The hospitality in Turkey is really reaches the top it's uh it's so heartwarming oh really guys please check out this place he's one of the owners summit andiamo so guys that's it for today if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave it a thumbs up share with friends and family if you want more content like this make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon to get notified when i upload and see you on the next video ciao